Through the stories from our Lost Year project, students, staff, and faculty share their perspectives, observations, and experiences related to the COVID-19 pandemic. In this segment, you'll get to hear about some of these stories and see some of the images that were shared. You'll also learn how you can participate in this project. My name is Jessica Hamilton. I'm a reference and instruction librarian here at Rowan College of South Jersey. Over the summer of 2021, I reached out to colleagues to join me in a project that ultimately was called Stories of Our Lost Year. So joining me here right now in conversation is Emily Maddox, an English instructor, and Lois lawson Bradell the head of our Center for Counseling and Wellness. The stories from our last year project came together over the summer of 2021 when a group of faculty and staff got together to talk about a storytelling project. This initiative was not just on the Gloucester campus, it's for our entire Rowan College South Jersey community to respond and have this project open to them. We all saw value in sharing stories, learning from each other, and we wanted to provide the opportunity for our campus community to do that, to reflect, heal, and move forward by sharing stories of their time during COVID. Students, faculty, staff, anybody who participated could also upload images as part of the form. We got an excellent set of responses right at the beginning of the fall semester. So at the beginning of September, 2021, about a dozen came in and they represented faculty, students and staff. So that was thrilling to see that all of our constituents in our community uh, were telling their stories. And they also represented a real diversity of perspective and experience, which I was really happy to see because the goal of this project was to have people reflect on their own experience and see others experience in their own to realize that their experience wasn't just theirs other people had it too so some commonalities that came up through the stories um, were mental health issues new hobbies, opportunities for people to reevaluate their life and what they wanted to do moving forward. Small things under our moving forward section included, like pretty much everybody said masks are here to stay in some form, you know, like in the future or during flu season, whenever masks, masks are here to stay, that was a common theme. And different perspectives on social challenges and social justice movements. Like we heard a real diversity of voices coming in through these stories. The first month that we were back with in-person classes in September, we had gallery space in the College Center for most of the fall 2021 semester. It included artwork and photographs from some of our art students it also included quotations and full stories. I think it was an excellent uh, project. When I went down to the college uh, lobby in the college center on the Gloucester campus, because we uh, coordinated with Cumberland campus also, the pictures and the quotes, they were just amazing and they, they touched your heart. Now that the College Center art display is down, the project is visible with an online exhibition. The pandemic was a very trying time and unfortunately we're still going through the very trying time. I work in the Counseling Wellness Service uh, Department and see students who share their feelings of anxiety, loneliness, uh, just feeling stuck during that uh, time period. I think this project is almost like a catharsis type of thing where they were able to write out their feelings and being able to share and knowing that someone else is really interested in listening and wanting to see their drawings, uh, pictures that they have taken. 
what had transpired during that time, their feelings. I felt it was an excellent project. I was very pleased with, with the uh, responses that I saw and it, it did feel like they, there was a sense of catharsis and, and I think they um, discovered things that they were didn't maybe necessarily realize that they were feeling in the process of, of writing uh, based on the prompts. I think some of the good ideas that came out, people find creative ways in their midst of being so-called stuck in an environment to make it interesting. Um, some people got into gardening, which my daughter and I did, and just to see the beautiful flowers, uh, getting involved in music. So, you know, learning how to manage a stressful situation to make it pleasant and adorable. We had people write about their pets. That was a big theme of, of lockdown time. So one, I think it was a staff person submitted a story of her cats that she got at the beginning of the pandemic and was so grateful to have them. Um, we had parents submitting stories of what it was like having their kids home while themselves trying to keep together their households and log in to do their work virtually. Um, we had stories of people getting vaccinated, refusing to get vaccinated, having gotten through the pandemic so far without having gotten sick and others who did get sick. One of the stories that stood out to me was um, illustrative, I think, of the difficulty of just everything during the pandemic time. So we had normal life challenges that we experienced under a pandemic. So one dramatic story that illustrated that to me was um, a person whose house burned down, you know, and the person who submitted that story did it with a photo of their house just fully on fire and firefighters in front of it work, working on the blaze. So to me, that really illustrated almost perfectly what it was like to have challenges in addition to having the pandemic. If you would like to participate in this storytelling project, you can go to rcsjedu slash tell your story to submit your own reflections. Our group developed a set of questions and prompts divided into four subject areas, which included the pandemic, social issues, social justice and the election cycle, and moving forward. Don't feel like you need to reply to every one of those questions and prompts. Just answer the parts that speak to you.